past month and a half, what have I done in school? Nothing. David Moylan is a victim of senioritis. What are they gonna do, you know? You gonna make me do it? No. Am I gonna do it? No. I'm not gonna do it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I game. You know, one, one could consider me a gamer. Um, basically, I just... All I do at school is game. And, uh... You know, some would call it an addiction, but, uh... I just call it a habit. He has become a distraction to his classmates. When David freaks out when he's playing these games in class, it just it's really hard for me to concentrate on my gaming. And I just can't focus when I'm trying to play Bubble Trouble and he's a distraction in the back. I can't focus. It's just it's too much. Yeah. He thinks because he has better games that he's better than everyone else. Plants for zombies. The scrub game. <laughs> Oblivion, a uh, best game ever. My sneak skill is up to like a hundred, so like whenever I pickpocket somebody from behind, they like have no idea what's going on. My security is up to like 95, so like lock picking is a joke. <laughs> Plants for zombies, Peggle Knights, Endgame. Yeah, those are popular games, but I mean that's the past for me. I'm looking to the future where, you know, I take school gaming to a new level. Um, cause you know, it's like the last month of school. Now that I got like a legitimento laptop, I mean, I can pretty much just play top of the line games. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom, so. When gaming can't keep David satisfied in school, he just leaves. Multiple skipping incidents cause his grades to plummet. Is it an emergency? Kind of. Okay. Take the pass, please. Hurry back. Uh, David? You, uh, you just walked right past the bathroom. Shoot, they ain't going to no bathroom. They're gonna get me some food. Um, maybe you shouldn't leave school in the middle of the day like that. Maybe you should turn that camera off and stop following me. Um, David, no, seriously, you can get in big trouble for this. I... David, seriously, you're not done with school yet. This is stop. important stuff. First of all, stop calling me David, because... Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I went to go to the bathroom, and crazily enough, every single bathroom was full, every single stall. So I was thinking, hey, you know, the nearest bathroom would be like Bojangles. Bojangles, right, just down the road. So you're out of class? So I'm out of class. Without and permission? And there's food, and you know, I was like, hey, I'm using the bathroom. Win win situation, get some food. Um, and so lo and behold, I have my food here. So you went off school grounds without permission, unless your teacher gave you permission. Right? Well, uh, see, she told me I could, she had permission to leave class, you know, because I took the pass and everything, so I kind of took that with a grain of salt. Well, okay. Well, we can discuss the policy in my office. And right. Discuss right. what we're going to do with that food. Right. Does that work for you? That, that'll be fine. So, Mr. Moylan, mm -hmm. can you uh, tell me why you have Bojangles here today? Honestly, like, my friend gave me this Bojangles, so I didn't actually go to Bojangles. Um, who, who would your friend be? Because I'd like to, you know, write that person's name down and interrogate him. Okay, um, his name is Jordan Leipzig. He's, he's a close friend of mine. So he was like, yeah, man, yeah, I'll get you some Bojangles, just gotta pay me back. And I was like, right, just get me some blueberry biscuits and some sweet tea. And, uh, I guess... Did, he, did he get you blueberry biscuits well, and sweet tea? Well, obviously he did, Mr. Whitlow, because... Okay. Well, so I that's the them. container that Yes, sir. Said. Did you share with him, just out of curiosity? I did not share. So not only did you use your cell phone during the school day without permission, uh, but you also broke a cardinal kindergarten rule by not sharing. Really, Mr. Whitlow? Really? This is, uh, Absolutely. How many uh, skipping infractions have you had in the past? Um, top of my head, I'd say. 
Seven. Eleven. 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 Well, Mr. Moreland, there's no question in my mind, based upon your, your past history, uh, based upon what you've done this time, based upon the lies that you portrayed to me today, uh, there's no question, at a minimum, you will have a Saturday school for this coming May the 22nd. Oh, come on, Josh. Excuse, excuse me? Come on, come on, what? What you do to me is not going to affect me, you know, in a month's time, so I don't think I need to be disciplined, because I'll be on my own in you know, the next couple of months, and next month, you know, so... You communists, you know, I'm what you'd call a rebel without a cause. You definitely do not have a cause. I, I agree. There is no. I, I hate school. I hate school. So, what are your plans for next year? I'm not really thinking about the future. Mr. Moylan, I, yeah, I've just got to be honest with you. I think you're probably looking at jail time. I think that's where you're headed at this point. What? As you can see, David Moyon obviously needs help. He could get in a lot of trouble. I had the chance to sit down with him, trying to get him to change his ways. So David, why have you stopped caring? I mean, why do you not care? I don't even care enough to answer that question, so we'll just leave it at that. Do you not have any desire to try a little bit harder for the last few weeks of school? I mean, it's the rest of your life. It's pretty important stuff. You don't want to just throw it all away. What do you mean, the rest of my life? It's, it's high school. It's four, it's four insignificant years of my life. And it's two weeks from being over, so I'm going to try to forget all the hardships. All the hardships. You mentioned hardships. What are some of the hardships you've had to deal with over your high school career? Oh, you, you know the drama of high school. It's just, not prestiging in COD. Now, if I could hand you a cure for your senioritis right now, would you take it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. As you can see, there's no cure for senioritis. And even if there was, students wouldn't take it. So teachers, just give up. Reporting for Titan TV, I'm Jordan Leipzig, signing off. It's been a great four years. God bless and Godspeed.